Your Excellency, President Wu Tinsho, members of the media, I am delighted to welcome His Excellency Wu Tinsho, President of Myanmar, and his distinguished delegation to India. Excellency, we are deeply honored that you have chosen India for your first bilateral state visit abroad. Friends, Myanmar is special for us. It holds a unique position in India's neighborhood. It is a land bridge that connects India with South Asia. The long-standing cultural and historical linkages between our two societies form a solid foundation of our ties. Buddhist principles of mitta or loving kindness and sarva pantha sambhav, equality of all religions define our ways of life. Excellency, your great nation has entered a new era, an era defined by maturity of your leadership and commitment of your people to democracy, and which is accompanied by clear vision and a strong desire of your leadership to make Myanmar a stable and economically prosperous country in the region. As the new government of Myanmar starts its journey to grow its agriculture, develop its industry and infrastructure, strengthen its education, skill its youth, build new institutions and strengthen existing ones, secure its society, seek a firm path to economic prosperity, and above all, pursue an ambition to build a modern nation. Let me assure you that at every step of the way, 1.25 billion people of India will stand by you, both as partners and as friends. Friends, President and I have just concluded useful discussions on the whole range of our bilateral engagement. We recognize that our security interests are closely aligned, and we agreed on the need to remain sensitive to each other's strategic interests and concerns. To this end, President and I agreed to work together for the safety and security of our people, and actively cooperate to combat the common challenges of terrorism and insurgent activity in our region. I have also conveyed India's full support to the Peace Process Initiative under the 21st century Ponglong Conference. Friends, India-Myanmar partnership is defined not just by good words and pure intent. Its extent and depth is shaped by robust development cooperation partnership which has strong people-first philosophy. India's nearly $1.75 billion development assistance is touching the lives of the common man of Myanmar. Our engagement is supporting projects in connectivity, infrastructure, capacity building, education, healthcare, and many other sectors. Some concrete examples of our partnership include 
Kaladan project, which is port and waterway segment in near completion later this year. India, Myanmar, Thailand, Trilateral Highway, Myanmar Institute of Information Technology, Advanced Center of Agriculture Research and Education, as well as smaller projects in health, education, and industrial training sectors. The two operational agreements signed today will facilitate the construction and upgrading of 69 bridges and the Kaleva Yargi road section of the trilateral highway project. We are also determined to deepen our cooperation in agriculture, banking, power, and energy. The MOUs on cooperation in renewable energy and on traditional systems of medicine will operationalize our cooperation in these areas. We have also agreed to work towards a long-term and mutually beneficial arrangements for trade in pulses. In April this year, we took the small step of sup supplying power to Tamu in Myanmar. I have also told the President that we are willing to substantially scale, scale up our supply of power. Excellency, India stands ready to enhance our development partnership with Myanmar and do so as per the priorities of the Myanmar government. Friends, culture is a cornerstone of the foundation of our countries, our ties. I'm happy that our partnership is restoring Ananda Temple in Bagan in Myanmar. We are also ready to restore other historic monuments and pagodas which were damaged in the earthquake which hit Myanmar just last week. Excellency, your visit has been most timely. And our discussions today have enabled us to evolve our roadmap and an action agenda for our cooperation. I look forward to working with you to take the relationship the new heights. A bright future for Myanmar is not just your objective, it is also our aspiration. Once again, Excellency, a very warm welcome to India. Thank you.